a dynamic microphone generally will reject the a lot of the sound that's coming from behind it so if you have a noisy room on the other side position yourself to where the noise is going to be coming from behind the microphone get a dynamic microphone put the the back side of the microphone to where the noise is coming from and it's going to reject a lot of the noise if you make the mistake and the microphone is pointing towards the noise it's going to pick up a lot of that noise so microphone placement is going to be another one of those and then when you're all done with that seal it up sound blanket dynamic microphone run it through adobe enhance and you'll have to adjust the sliders and you can get rid of a lot of the background noise and still make it sound natural yeah. So I usually leave a little bit of background sound in when I use Adobe Enhance, and then I'll put like a sound bed underneath it where I'll put music in there, not because I want you to hear the music necessarily, but I want it to, to fill in the dead space because maybe I removed too much background and it didn't sound natural. So I want to add just a little bit of music in there that you barely hear just to kind of fill in where the, the, the dead spaces that I took out.